How can a star be a legendary figure and a controversy-stirring media darling at the same time? At least in hip-hop, that was the case of Lil' Kim. Each generation of artists has at least two to three highly controversial figures who are still recognized and well-respected for their artistic output and the influence they bring to the industry. For the women's rap scene of the late 90s, early 2000s, it was Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim was, and still is, a very successful artist who helped pave the way for the upcoming generations of female rappers, giving them more freedom when it came to the choice of topics to write about. By many, she's seen as one of the main influencers for the whole feminine, sex-positive rap that had been dominating the 2000s and 2010s, mainly Nicki Minaj and those after her, giving young artists like Cardi B as well as Azalea Banks and others inspiration on how to present themselves and to make their craft profitable. Also, she's known by hip-hop fans as the ex-girlfriend of another legendary rapper, Biggie Smalls. Despite being regarded as a very creative and innovative artist and rapper at the time, as well as highly skilled, Lil' Kim made a name for herself with a ton of controversies as well. The list is quite long, although it would be impossible to ignore Lil' Kim's one of the most heated and long-lasting beefs was with another female rap icon, Nicki Minaj. It all started way back in 2008, when Nicki started becoming popular with her first releases. In the promo campaign for Nicki's Sucka Free, Nicki Minaj used multiple photo shots of herself to hype the record up. One of those photos looked oddly familiar to the photo Lil' Kim made 11 years before for the poster for her classic hardcore album cover. Sure, it could be seen as a homage, but many fans interpreted the photo as a direct shot at Lil' Kim that symbolized that Nicki Minaj was ready to take the rap queen spot that Kim held at one point. Throughout the early 2010s, the two crossed paths several times, mostly in a negative way, such as during their first face-to-face -face interaction since Nicki Minaj came up, where the two allegedly started an argument at the backstage of a Lil Wayne concert. There are many versions of this story, although according to Nicki Minaj herself, it was Lil' Kim who intensified the situation. As Nicki recalls, she came to Lil' Kim to make sure everything was fine between them and there was no bad blood, although Kim's response wasn't that friendly. Picture somebody saying to me, we good. I'll wring her throat, snatch her larynx out. We love her. We just want her to pay homage. If you don't pay homage, then F you. After this situation, there were countless sneak disses and references made by both Nicki and Lil' Kim that fueled the feud. Live show disses, diss tracks, disses on tracks like Nicki Minaj's iconic verse from Monster, and even direct callouts in interviews. That was a true battle of titans. Lil' Kim publicly stated that Nicki Minaj was a Lil' Kim imposter and was in the game just to come and go while she could easily destroy the young artist with her old stuff. And Nicki's general opinion of Kim was that she was a sore loser who should have proved her greatness with billboard chart positions instead of quote unquote words. In 2013, Nicki Minaj tried to smoothen things out over by acknowledging Lil' Kim's influence on her own music and career to which, once again, Lil' Kim didn't respond too kindly. She shut the peace treaty down, continuing to take shots at Nicki soon afterward, and even now, as of 2023, the two still haven't come to peace. Sure, there were glimpses of hope for Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim squashing their beef, like when, in one of her interviews, Nicki Minaj admitted to feeling regretful about trying to replicate Lil' Kim's image, which basically started the animosity between the two. As Nicki said, it was too soon for that. Not even too soon. It was unnecessary, explaining that she did it because she wanted to do what the boys were doing. Even Lil' Kim, who seemed to be the one who was always ready to keep the beef alive, was hinting at the end of the grudge between her and Nicki Minaj. In 2019, in an interview for the Real 92.3 radio station, she said, God bless her, speaking about Nicki Minaj. I wish her the best. I'm past that and over that. Although many fans pointed out that Lil' Kim still seems to be waiting for an apology from Nicki, Perhaps she believes that Nicki Minaj snatched her style at the start of her career and went with it without giving Kim proper credit. But she did what she did. And until she's ready to be, you know, hopefully God puts it on her mind or whoever else's mind right, right, to right. do the right thing because she knows what she did. And once that happens, then, you know, I hopefully everyone will stop asking me. In recent years, there hasn't been much happening with the feud alongside speculations of a possible versus featuring Lil' Kim and Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj and Little Kim. We kept hearing that. I think that um is that both have passed or, or is it is I it can't a possibility? Say it. I can't say it here. I can't say it. So it's still a but, possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just know 
that if you're gonna wait this long for for verses, if we're gonna have you wait this long, it's gonna definitely be worth it. Worth the time. Or, like if anything people know about me is like if I'm being quiet, like things are happening. Mm -hmm. Hopefully their potential face off will mark the final chapter of this never ending battle. Although it seems to not be the case considering they're from two different generations and it would have two completely different audiences for who the better rapper was. Despite the fact that the intensity of their feud appeared to have cooled with both Kim and Nicki Minaj looking forward to an official and proper way to end the feud on a versus stage, another big rapper, 50 Cent, attempted to make the feud more personal on Instagram last year. Lil Kim and Cardi B made a song together called Plan B Remix, in which Kim, as fans believe, dissed Nicki Minaj's son. 50 was among those people who saw the sneak diss in Kim's bars and tweeted, tagging Nicki Minaj, you better light her ass up, I'm watching. She said something about the baby. Lil' Kim quickly shut the rumor down, saying that it was a diss to one of her exes and not about someone's, let alone Nicki's kid. However, it was far from the first interaction of that kind between Lil' Kim and 50 Cent since their story began way back in 2003. The relationship between Lil' Kim and 50 Cent actually started on a high note, as the two worked on a collab song named Magic Stick in 2003. However, things between the two quickly went sour only a couple of months later after 50 Cent dissed Lil' Kim in the song Love Me with Eminem and Obi Trice. I'm convinced, man. Something really wrong with these hoes. I thought Lil' Kim was hot, till she started flicking with her nose. Lil' Kim responded in an interview saying that she doesn't have much respect for 50 Cent's music since it's hardcore, violent, and doesn't carry a great message. She also shared her frustration about the situation. How can a man have beef with a woman? whatever that's just not cool then came the song piggy bank by 50 where he threw some more shots on lil kim freak b looked like kim before the surgery their beef was in a state of a cold war for almost 15 years although in 2021 50 cent decided to reignite it all over again posting a meme where lil kim was compared to an owl and another where she was dancing alongside with the leprechaun kim didn't take the clowning lightly and told 50 cent to get off her pee and stop being so obsessive over her. Later, 50 Cent used the very same owl picture in a post where he suggested that Kim diss Nicki Minaj's son on a track with Cardi B. This time, Lil' Kim added some details on the history between the two that were not previously heard. Still mad about that date, I see. I ain't know you was this mad though. Damn, F-boy. Glad you was listening though. Song was for you. So far, 50 Cent hadn't responded to that. But one thing's for sure, their beef is very much so alive. Lil' Kim's clash with 50 Cent was far from the first time someone dissed Kim's appearance, as her looks have undergone numerous major changes throughout her life, and not all of the fans were enjoying it. That's how Lil' Kim used to look before any major plastic surgeries, in 1999. Then you could notice the first little changes in her 2003 look. By 2004, her face shape and some of her facial features changed completely, as well as her skin complexion, and by 2008, Kim looked like a completely different person. Lil' Kim's appearance continued to change with each passing year, with more and more features getting altered by the plastic surgeries that she had. That's how Lil' Kim looks now, and how she used to look in 1999. Many fans found the changes to be too radical, slamming Lil' Kim for not accepting herself in her initial form, with comments like, it's really so sad that Lil' Kim didn't realize how beautiful she was without all the surgery and bleaching. And Lil' Kim needs love, support, understanding, not shame and judgment. For years, fans have been arguing about what surgeries Kim had undergone, naming rhinoplasty, breast augmentation, chin and cheek fillers, and an eye lift among possible other variants. Lil' Kim doesn't often speak on that matter, although once she did comment on her obsession with altering her appearance as a bit excessive, and a part of her trying to be perfect. She also opened up on the subject, going in detail on her personal trauma caused by all the men in her life. All my life, men have told me I wasn't pretty enough, even the men I was dating, and I'd be like, well, why are you with me then? It's always been men putting me down just like my dad. To this day, when someone says I'm cute, I can't see it. I don't see it no matter what anybody says. Kim's appearance wasn't the only personal thing that impacted the perception of her overall persona by fans. In 2005, Lil' Kim was going through rough times, dealing with perjury charges, and the controversy was all over the media landscape. Lil' Kim was caught lying to a jury about her companion's participation in a shootout outside the Hot 97 radio station in 2001. 
Interestingly, the dangerous incident unfolded due to Lil' Kim's rap group Junior Mafia's beef with the Capone and Noriega duo over CNN allowing Foxy Brown to drop a diss verse targeting Lil' Kim on their track, Bang Bang. Initially, Lil' Kim said that she couldn't identify the shooter's identity, although it was later proven that Lil' Kim was present at the crime scene when the whole thing happened. Fortunately, Kim received significantly less than the 20-year maximum sentence and was sentenced to serve out a year and a day in prison. Lil' Kim was released from the Federal Detention Center in Philadelphia on July 3rd, 2006 for good behavior, and she still managed to release her fourth album, The Naked Truth, despite incarceration, and the record even made it to the top 10 on the Billboard 200. Later, Lil' Kim shared her regret about the situation, stating, I can tell you this is by far the toughest thing I have ever had to go through. I testified falsely during the grand jury and in trial. At the time, I thought it was the right thing to do, but now I know I was wrong. In 2016, Lil' Kim and Nori linked up and seemingly squashed their issues for good. Foxy Brown, who we mentioned before, was perhaps Lil' Kim's biggest rival in her career. And that's something considering Kim's got over 20 high-profile beefs under her belt. The thing that made this rivalry so bitter was the fact that Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown were actually best friends back in high school and used to share their ambitions of climbing to the top of the rap game with each other. However, the tables turned after both women got signed to their first record deals and became direct competitors. Some would potentially say a third party or third parties wanted this beef so they could both sell more records. The beef officially began after Foxy Brown and Lil' Kim dropped their debut albums only one week apart. The media picked that fact up very quickly and started to compare the two up-and-coming artists, creating a huge response from hip-hop fans. Although according to numerous sources, the beef already existed before the media got involved. Just like in the situation with Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown traded blows through their tracks, dropping diss songs and verses to one-up each other. Kim's verse on Mob Deep's Quiet Storm remix and Foxy's song My Life come to mind when revisiting this beef, although it was the aforementioned Bang Bang feature verse by Foxy Brown that marked the biggest hit in this beef. This verse turned competition into a true hatred between the two artists, which later resulted in real shots being fired on the streets of New York. As we previously discovered, that was the situation that led to Lil' Kim and her crew members serving time, while one of the CNN associates got shot in the back. In 2013, the two made an attempt to end the feud at Hot 97 Summer Jam, but it fell through at the last minute, with Foxy telling MTV that it wasn't orchestrated properly. As you can see, Lil' Kim wasn't very keen on the idea of having competition and was always ready to go all out on anyone who posed a threat to her throne. However, it wasn't the only thing that bothered Lil' Kim, as at one point she had a public relationship with one of the biggest names in hip-hop history, the Notorious B.I.G. And just like she couldn't stand seeing other women get to the top, she couldn't condone sharing Biggie with anyone else. As far as I can remember, Lil' Kim's first public beef started over a man, and Lil' Kim's eyes were set on Faith Evans, who was Biggie's wife at the time. Biggie met Lil' Kim way back in 1993, although their relationship started on a business note since the notorious B.I.G. was still with his baby mama, Jan Jackson. However, they initially broke up as Biggie and Lil' Kim got so close that B.I.G. couldn't hold his feelings any longer. Almost half a year later, Biggie met Faith Evans on the set of a photo shoot for Bad Boy Records and fell in love with her at first sight. Later, the two married, although Biggie and Lil' Kim never stopped dating and becoming lovers in the process. Eventually, Faith Evans did find out about her husband's secret affair and even had several physical altercations with Lil' Kim throughout the years. The most infamous one was when Faith Evans stormed the room Biggie and Lil' Kim spent a night in and caught them red-handed. Evans rushed straight to the woman she didn't recognize at first, but when Faith Evans slammed a short woman to the ground, she saw her face and it turned out to be Lil' Kim. Another altercation was described in Faith Evans' book, Keep the Faith, a memoir. As Evans wrote, she was very pregnant at the time, so it meant that the whole thing happened around the summer or fall of 1996. The most interesting fact is that Faith Evans says that it was Missy Elliott who gave her the location of Lil' Kim that day, even though Kim and Missy had been friends for a long time, although perhaps they hadn't been friends at that moment. Once again, Faith Evans rushed to the room where Lil' Kim was recording one of her future tracks, and threw a flurry of punches at Lil' Kim. Kim never addressed the situation or Missy's involvement in it, and the only evidence of it happening in the first place is in Faith Evans' book. So fans feel conflicted about this one. In 2016, the two have come to peace and even have a collab track together, Loving You For Life. 
At the end of the day, you didn't have to be a direct competitor, a love triangle, rival, or even a hater of Lil' Kim to make the list of her beefs. Throughout her career, Kim had bad blood with Drake, who supported Nicki Minaj in their beef. Then Lil' Kim doubted the loyalty of her longtime friend and colleague Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. Kim's ex once tried to intimidate DJ Funk Flex into playing Lil' Kim's music in his clubs. Another controversial hip-hop persona, Azalea Banks, traded back and forth punches with Lil' Kim. And even Tupac was Lil' Kim's target at one point. Kim even has a diss track where she throws jabs at her old rival Faith Evans and Tupac Shakur, who went at Biggie with the legendary Hit Em Up diss track. This version of the song wasn't released due to Tupac's passing, just like many other disses aimed at Shakur during that time. Simply put, Lil' Kim was always ready to defend herself and never backed down from telling how she really felt about one person or another. At one point, Lil' Kim was practically beefing with the majority of hip-hop with her shocking outfits and explicit lyrics. So even though she's definitely a polarizing figure in hip-hop history, there's no denying she had the heart to go against anyone and the status quo, even if it was an entire industry, let alone another measly superstar.